All right, guys, this is unit two, Becoming Resilient. I have quite a few things I want to talk about in this video, so you'll see me refer to my notes often. First of all, this paper is about um, finding a source that has a character or characters in it that show resilience. Here are some things to keep in mind. Number one, you can use any medium that you want. So it could be a movie, it could be a poem, it could be a short story, whatever you want, it's up to you. It just needs to have a character or characters in it that show some element of resilience. In order to write the paper, you have to first understand what it means to be resilient and what are the characters of resiliency. The basic dictionary meaning of resilience or resiliency is to be able to bounce back after being pulled and stretched. How does somebody do that? What are some characteristics? You can easily go online and look that up, but I'll give you a couple. One, usually someone who has a positive outlook will be a resilient person. Or if they have a strong support network, that can make a resilient person. Okay, if they're strong-willed, don't give up very easily. Okay, these are the kind of things that would give you a resilient person. So, after understanding what resiliency is, you need two sources for this paper. Now, what does that mean? How are you gonna do that? Maybe you might have two sources, a poem and a short story, and you're gonna compare how those two poems and short stories show similar elements of resiliency. Maybe both characters or the narrator in the poem and the narrator in the short story both show resiliency through positive outlook. Or maybe you might contrast it. Maybe you might have two movies where one person really does well um, in being resilient and another doesn't. And you can contrast that. Or, like I said earlier, you might do a little research and find a source that you find really good at explaining what it means to be resilient. So you could use that book or that article to help you show and prove that there's actually resiliency in your main source. Just make sure that if you do it that way that you're using the second source in a substantial way. So you should have more than just one line quoted from that second source. All right, so two sources. This is the first paper that's gonna require you to have a works cited page. So make sure you've reviewed how to do that, okay? And you wanna have every source that you quote or name should be listed on that works cited page. The other thing is your thesis. Your thesis should include both your topic and your purpose. So the topic, if you went online and looked at my example online, I had the movie Pursuit of Happiness. So that's my topic. The topic is pr the uh, character in Pursuit of Happiness shows resiliency. And the purpose is that I'm gonna illustrate how he shows resiliency okay so my thesis would sound like this the pursuit of happiness has a main character who illustrates all the characteristics of resiliency including a positive attitude and a willingness to persevere despite failures okay also it's really important to understand the body paragraph format remember in the first video that I talked about how a body paragraph could have three to five elements to it, you're gonna definitely be using all five elements in this paper. The claim, the topic sentence, the framing device or signal phrase, evidence from the video movie source, okay? And that might be direct dialogue or it might be summary of a scene, paraphrasing of a scene, okay? In-text citation and commentary. If you're doing a poem, keep in mind that you use the line numbers. So the first time you would uh, maybe use a direct quote from the poem, you would say, oh, lines two or lines two through five. And then afterwards in the parentheses, you could just put the number. But because basic MLA format usually has page numbers at the end, you can't just put the number at the end because then it's assumed it's a page number, but if you use the word line the first time, then every other time you can drop the word line or lines. So we basically gotta have all those points. Let me give you an example of what a body paragraph would sound like. Claim, 
Will Smith shows a positive attitude. Framing device. In the beginning of the movie, he, quote, summarizes, oh, and here you would summarize a part of the movie and might include a piece of dialogue. That's what that would be. In-text citation. There isn't a page number or line number for movies, so in this case, you would not have one. But make sure that your framing device makes it clear that you're about to cite from an outside source. So hopefully that was clear to you. What I'm saying there is it's a movie. There's no page numbers. There's no line numbers. What do you do? Well, you make sure that in your signal phrase, you say in the movie or in this scene of the movie. Okay. That way it's known that it's a movie and where you got the information from. And there's a clear um, distinction between your words and where the words of the movie or dialogue or paraphrasing begins. And then commentary. This is where you'll relate to your personal experience and or explain why you view this as resiliency. Example, personally, I know that having a positive attitude helps you to be resilient because I had to do the same thing when I did not win my first track meet. So as you can see in that commentary, I used I and me. Again, this is another situation where I really don't mind if you use first person somewhat in here. I want you to kind of relate to this story. I want you to um, figure out how do they use resiliency and how do I use resiliency, okay? I want that to be something that is kind of in the back of your mind. So, commentary. Last thing, how to add length. All right, again, a basic five paragraph essay is probably only gonna be about two pages double spaced, right? five to ten sentences each. So for this, how can you add length? Number one, you can add quoted information or support to each paragraph. So if you have given maybe a brief summary or overview of what happened in the particular part of the movie, you could go back in and maybe add a little bit of dialogue, okay? Just to kind of fl um, fluff it up a little bit. Another thing you might do is you could add commentary to each point. So if you heard the commentary that I gave you for the example, it was just one sentence. I could definitely go into what happened at the track meet. Now, you can probably imagine at this point that paragraph is looking pretty long, right? So start the commentary in a new paragraph, okay? You can have elements of a paragraph split up over two paragraphs. Just make sure you kind of have a transition from one to the other so it's clear that both paragraphs are relating back to the same claim. The other thing you can do is you can add additional claims or points. So if I've talked about him having a positive outlook and I'm only on page two, maybe I might need to add a third. Maybe I need to add another characteristic that Will Smith had. And then maybe that might push me over into where I need to be. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure you review the lecture materials for more details.